grown to talk. The curfew is finally done tomorrow. Today is Sunday. The curfew is done Monday. And coronavirus is spiking like crazy. We've been getting thousands of new infections every damn day because nobody cares about the stupid virus anymore. So ever since they started loosening the restrictions, we're not on lockdown anymore, everyone is too dumb to realize that we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Just because the lockdown is over and we can go outside again doesn't mean that we should be going outside and acting like nothing's happening anymore. Everyone is, everyone is going back to the days before this pandemic even started and there's more infections than ever. Just in the past day, there's been over 1,500 new infections just in Arizona. That's the most that we've seen since pretty much this all started. Where the hell did that car come from? <clears throat> so, the coronavirus is spiking yet again. So this is definitely not the time to go out because more and more people are getting sick. And it's not, it's not just because more testing is becoming available and, you know, you can get tested even if you have mild symptoms, even if you think that you might be sick, but you might not even have it. Pretty much anyone can get tested now, at least in Arizona anyway. You can get tested even if you're not sick. It's available to pretty much anyone now. So but that's not the only reason why the numbers are going up really fast again. It's also because people are forgetting you know, several months pass and we're halfway through it, but we're not quite out. We're not, this isn't over yet. And people are thinking that it is over and they're, they just don't care anymore. They're going out and going back to their normal lives and everyone's getting sick all over again. That's why the numbers are going through the roof. We've, there's been over a hundred thousand new infections worldwide just in the past day. The numbers are not slowing down. It is there's more and more infections and it's continuing to spread throughout the whole world just as fast as ever. And the sad part is it's not going to stop until there's proper treatment. That's the thing that's really annoying. I, you know, especially someone like me, I'm not going to be able to go back to, you know, the way my life was before all this happened until proper treatment is available so I'll so I don't have to worry about getting deathly sick. Because I I need Someone like me, like when I'm on this dumb medicine that's fucking with my immune system, I need to have proper treatment for this kind of thing. You know, because there could be a chance I might not be able to fight it off. Or I could I could be sick for a lot longer than normal. It's all because of the stupid medicine. So something like this coronavirus that's a lot worse than the flu. The flu, like who gives a shit? You know, but this, <clears throat> this could be a lot worse than the flu for me. That's why... Someone like me needs to have proper treatment. I, I might I might even not have a choice but to get the vaccine. I've never really been into vaccines. I mean, I've never even had the flu vaccine. I think I got the flu shot once when I was like 10. And, I, you know, I've never caught the flu. I haven't gotten the flu since I was 12. But then again, the flu isn't nearly as contagious. The coronavirus is like as contagious as the common cold. That's a huge difference. That's why I might not have a choice but to make an exception this time to get the coronavirus vaccine just so I, you know, I don't have to catch this shit. So even if I do still end up catching this virus, the vaccine would in theory help me fight it off a lot easier so I won't get deathly sick, you know? So, cause that's the whole point of a vaccine. It trains your body and helps your body build up antibodies against a specific illness. So you either don't catch it at all or if you do still get sick, more than likely, it's not going to be nearly as bad as if it could be without the vaccine. So that's why I'm saying, if I got the vaccine, I might still have a chance of getting sick from the coronavirus if I'm around a bunch of people. But odds are it would be very mild. I probably wouldn't like have to go to the hospital and die or whatever, whatever everyone's going through right now. It'd be a lot more mild. It probably wouldn't be much more than like a nasty cold in that case. So that's why I'm continuing to play it safe. I'm not being like everyone else and just being fucking stupid and assuming that the pandemic is over because it's not over. It's far from over. We're, we're making progress every day towards learning more about this stupid thing and finding more tr proper treatment for it. And we're inevitably going to have a vaccine. And a good amount of people are probably not going to take it because 
you know, there, there's a lot of anti-vaccine people out there and everyone is paranoid over like, you know, them putting microchips in it or something. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm just, but either way, I might, I'm probably going to wind up having to get it just because of the situation that I'm in. Because I really, you know, I don't really have a problem with just getting a vaccine one time. <clears throat> just until all this passes. Because I really, it would be worth it to me if it meant going back to having a normal life. I'm sick and tired of just having to avoid everyone like the plague and being paranoid all the time. I want a normal life again, damn it. And it's not going to happen until probably the end of the year at the absolute earliest. The earliest will be the end of the year. Like, I'm being generous saying this. But realistically, this isn't going to be over until probably halfway through next year. That's just my prediction. So it could be, this could be over any time between the end of this year until maybe halfway through next year. That's more than likely when this is going to stop and things are going to go back to normal. But who knows? I mean, maybe they'll have the vaccine ready by the fall time and then maybe like specific people like doctors and people that are high risk could get the vaccine. Personally, I'm not going to get the vaccine right away because I'm tr kind of treating it like new technology you know like a new phone comes out i like to wait a month or two just to see if there's any problems with it if there's any defects because why would i want to buy a phone that has problems well why would i want to get a vaccine that i don't know fully works or if there's any side effects so whenever the vaccine comes out if i do get it i'm probably gonna wait at least a couple months until a bunch of other people get it you know let them let everyone else be the fucking guinea pigs i'm gonna and i'm gonna wait and see if there's any like side effects and see if it even works before I even think about getting it. But it's like, the thing that's kind of weird is why are they even bothering doing all this widespread testing? This phase three trial, they're gonna test like over 150,000 people, I think next month in this final phase. But at the same time, it's like they already know that it's gonna work apparently because they've ordered millions and millions of doses of this vaccine already. So if they're already convinced at that point that, you know, it's going to work and they're going to start getting it ready for mass production to give out to the world, what, what's the point in phase three trials? Like, it's like they're just going to test it anyway, even though they already know, they're already convinced that it works. So they're just kind of gambling with it and having all these millions of doses of vaccine ready. But then it's like, what if the vaccine doesn't work? What if there's like some bad side effects? They're going to have to throw away millions of doses of vaccine. That's the only problem. Like, I feel like they're taking a gamble with this because they already have all of these, they already have millions of doses of coronavirus vaccines. So I feel like they're taking a big gamble. But they still have to do this phase three trial just to be, you know, make sure that it works for the mass public. Either way, <laughs> I'm just rambling at this point, talking about what's been happening. So stay tuned for more videos. We are, we just hit 7 million infections worldwide. So over 410,000 people are dead, and 110,000 people are dead just in America alone. It's getting ridiculous. I'm wondering if these numbers are going to reset next year, because this is a seasonal thing, I'm assuming. So by next year, like, are the numbers just going to reset? And we're going to start by, you know, I'm assuming we're going to treat it like the seasonal flu. Like last year, supposedly like 60 or 70,000 people died from the flu in America. Yeah, so a lot more people are dying from the coronavirus. You can, it definitely shows that coronavirus is not a joke, and I'm not treating it like one. But I'm, I'm assuming that when this, you know, when this year is over, the numbers are going to reset, and then if, you know, if we're still getting sick, then, you know, next year it'll start over, you know, 10,000 infections in 2021. With hopefully zero deaths because we should have proper treatment and a vaccine next year. So even if there's more infections of the coronavirus, I would hope that there would be like little to no deaths because this is ridiculous. 400,000 dead people from this virus. That is a lot of dead people. This is bullshit. The sooner this is over, the better. See you folks.